Howdy. So, I picked a little something up uh, yesterday. It's a Husqvarna 2100 CD uh, from 1982. Uh, yeah, it looked to be in good shape. It needs a um, new oil cap. It leaks a little bit from the manual uh, oiler area here, so there's a gasket in there I think I gotta replace. Um, and I need a muffler bolt. Uh, and a bar, obviously. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's 100 cc's. So this is a beast of a saw. Um, see if I can fire it up here. Choke out. Turn it on. Like that. This thing has a lot of compression, I found. Starting it is, uh, it requires a lot of pressure. Let's see. Got a choke right over here. On off switch is over here. Manual override for the oiler it's over here. It's got the presence uh, operator presence lever, so the throttle won't work if your handle is, hand is on here. And then the throttle lock to start it. Um, gas and oil. They said this oil cap is junk. So I'm eating an oil cap because it's leaking. It's all the threads are all chewed up, um, and I think it actually leaks around from the manual oiler. So I'm gonna look in here and see about uh, there's a gasket in there from what I can see on the parts manual. Um, they said I need a uh, bolt for the muffler, and I think I'm gonna get the uh, falling spike for the outside too. Um, the brake works. Um, but it seems to be a bit different than what I'm used to. I can't just flip it forward. Oh! Yeah, there you go. Get, get, get. Anyway. There's a little, like, safety lever thing in here. And that actuates so that it works. You set it back. It's this little thing here. If I... And then... I don't know how it's supposed to actually work. It's a bit different than what I'm used to. I can't just pull it forward like a regular chain brake. Got to hit the button. I suspect what's supposed to happen is this right here is supposed to engage it if it kicks back. So I'll probably have to adjust this down a little bit so that it actually can engage because right now it can't. Um, you can see right here that gap there. Okay, so I'm assuming it, it should engage when that hits. Um, I took it apart yesterday, I took the muffler off, the cylinder was nice and clean on the inside. No scratches, no gouges. Uh, put a compression tester on it and got 155, which is pretty good. Um, yeah, it's a good looking saw. Yeah, I couldn't afford a brand new 100cc saw, so this is pretty sweet. Um, the reason I got it was for, I'd, I'd like to do some milling at the cabin. Um, yeah, we don't do any milling right now. Um, but, uh, I'd like to, uh, I'd like to get into that. Um, I'm getting a little blowout over here. I'm assuming it's because I don't have the muffler bolt in. There's also no gasket on the muffler. I need to get a new gasket. Um, and the little metal plates that go in between the blade. There's none of those, so I gotta pick some of those up. But, uh, yeah, beast of a saw. I never had a 100cc saw before. So, look forward to uh, future videos.
Um, probably next year when I'll take it out for doing some milling. And that's it for now. Thanks for watching.